Hey y'all, today we are talking about Unity Recorder, which is a fantastic package that's built into the Unity editor for use when you're making your game. So the main reason that you would use Unity Recorder is essentially to capture things like screen grabs or MP4 compressed video of your gameplay directly. Yes, you can use other tools like OBS uh, to do screen capture just in general, but this is nice because it's all integrated right into the engine. So a few quick callouts here are that you can immediately by default record things like animation clips, movies, image sequences, GIFs, and audio. It also has additional recorders for some really cool stuff like AOV. So if you wanted to have a depth recording inside of HDRP, it does support things like that within the recorder package. So let's go ahead and jump straight into the engine. So I'm inside of Unity 6 in a project I showed a few weeks ago where I created some splashes as the character walks around. I wanna go ahead and go to Window, Package Management, Package Manager, go into the Unity Registry, search for Record, find the Recorder package and hit Install. All right, so we now have our package installed. I'm gonna exit out of the Package Manager, come up here to Window, and then underneath general, go to recorder. And then we can either do quick recording or go into the recorder window where we have a bit more settings. So I'm gonna open up that recorder window. So from here, we have a lot of options. You'll notice that when we hover over start recording, it says starting the recording automatically activates the play mode first, if not activated yet. And we can start and stop the recording from here. So the reason that it's grayed out is because I don't have a recorder set. So we have a few immediate settings that we can exit play mode, have the frame rate be constant, etc. But I want to come in here and just add a recorder and I'm going to record a movie because I just want to get some immediate gameplay coming out of this thing. From in here, we have a lot of settings. So let's go ahead and look at it. So we have game view, which is a great setting. Uh, to just capture general gameplay. The neat thing is that you can also do a targeted camera or things like 360. Uh, I might even change this to a targeted camera just to show you what happens. So the output resolution, I'm gonna change that to 1080. Aspect ratio of 16.9, which is great. We're gonna leave off accumulation, but the nice thing is with all things in Unity, it has tooltips if we wanna hover over and see what any of these things do. I'm happy to use Unity Media Encoder, and I like the H.264 codec for an MP4 output. Encoding quality is high. You do have a bit more control over things like bitrate in some of the newer versions of Recorder, which is great as well. And then we specify where we want to output this to. So I'm going to leave all of this as is, and I feel pretty good about it. And let's go ahead and just do a quick 10 second recording. All right, so now from within the game view, I'm gonna be walking around, I'll sprint for a moment and finish this out. Now I'll go ahead and hit escape and stop. So now what I should be able to do is go to this location in my drive. So I'll go ahead and do that. Here we go. So now if I double click on this movie, it's going to then pop up and play for me in 1080p. So you can see immediately the amount of value that you can drive from this tool. It's all built in and recording pretty damn well what I just did. I'm gonna exit out. And now let's say I really wanted to focus on the, the splash mechanic maybe that I made a couple episodes ago. So now what I can do is I'm gonna drag recorder maybe down here. I'm gonna come over here, go into Cinemachine and let's just do a free look camera. I want to turn on my gizmos so I see what exactly it's looking at. And then let's say I want it right over here. And I'll point it out here at the water. I think that's looking perfectly fine. Now what I can do is go over to this recorder package and say instead of game view, I want to target a camera. All right, so now that we've set targeted camera, I'm going to keep my main camera selected, go to free look, and maybe I'll change the priority to 50 just to make sure that we get priority here. Then I can go ahead and start recording, which is then gonna send us into play mode. 
and I can see from the camera that I have positioned there my splash effect that looks teeny tiny where we're looking right now in my screen. But if I were to hit stop, I can then come over into File Explorer and see that there is now a movie 2 that's been recorded at 1080. One quick call out here is that if you are trying to target a camera and you want that to be a tagged camera instead of your main camera, you can come in here and create a manual tag. So let's just say this is uh, camera main is what I'll call this tag. You can now see in the bottom it says the requested target tag camera main does not exist in this project. One of the small issues is that if I come over here and I add a tag and I call it camera main, because I'm using a Cinemachine camera here, and this is not the actual camera that has the brain on it, it's still not going to pick up that there's a camera that's using this. So if you want to do it that way, uh, there are a couple ways to go about it, but one of the very quick ones would just be to slap a camera in here. And on this camera, I can actually come down to camera main, and you can see that this is now properly seeing that there is a camera tag this way. So you can set up a simple camera wherever you need, override the Cinemachine camera that was in scene and do it that way. But if you're in here trying to tag a camera that is a Cinemachine camera, just didn't want that to cause confusion. All right, so last thing is let's take a quick look at what you wanna do if you want something like a image sequence. So let's say I wanna come over here and do an image sequence. I don't really care for the beauty, but I do wanna see something like maybe an ambient occlusion what you'd likely want to do then is instead of having the main camera, which is controlled by mouse and keyboard right now, that's on the character, I'm gonna change this out to an animated camera because then I don't have an issue with uh, potential lag or my response time with keyboard and mouse as it's attempting to save out 30 images per second of gameplay. So instead I'm gonna come up here, right click, go to camera. I'm gonna tag this as a record camera I'm gonna change this main camera out to tagged. I'm gonna call this record. And now it knows to use that camera. I'm gonna switch the format to PNG. And now I can grab this camera, go to timeline, drag the camera down after I create the timeline asset. Add an animation track, record, pull this back, and let's say up come out 240 and pull this forward. Now I can end record and now the camera will move as I want it to. I can go ahead and go to recorder package and hit start recording. So now the recording is taking place. It appears choppy, but that's because of how much it's saving out at the same time. If we put this into something that can recompile the image sequence like Premiere, or After Effects, it's gonna all come across as smooth. Okay, so we're done with that. I'm gonna hit stop recording. We're gonna open up our, there we go. Here's our folder where we stored all of those image sequences. And now what I'm going to do is just show you what it looks like in After Effects briefly, pull it all in as an image sequence so you can see. All right, so now we have something like a Premiere, and After Effects, whatever you're using. I'm gonna go to File, Import, Import File. Gonna paste in my folder. Select one of those and leave PNG sequence checked, and now I can hit Import and see what this is going to look like. So if I hit Play, you can see that it's now a smooth ambient inclusion map. Pretty awesome stuff. There's a lot to come in here and play with but it's a really simple, easy way to get your gameplay captured and out there so that you can start to make trailers and other marketing content for the games that you're developing. So I hope this was helpful and that you learned something. Hope you all are having a great day. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.